Yeah, he did a very good job with this album, man. It's a good album. Very good. And, uh, but a lot of people are not going to be listening to it soon. I mean, it's the album, a lot of people, man, they just, like I asked a couple people, like, hey, what do you think about the album? He's A lot of them are like, I can't listen to this, man. Yeah, he's good lyrics. It depends know, on the person. Story. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. A lot of people, it just, there's only a certain type of people that would listen to his album. A lot of his hardcore fans, you know, nah, love that's, the album. That's, that's not, it's a great nah, album, nah, but bro. it's you like. You got records on here that are going to keep playing. Yeah, Kendrick but it, has records like that, bro. He does, but in this album, what, what's going to get re- re- repeated? Like, you know what? Like, you know what? When I went to Cabo, uh-huh. went to Cabo, Mexico, what okay. they were playing? They're playing "Bitch, Be Humble," "Sit Down," "DNA." All these records. That's what I'm pool. saying. He has records like that on here, though. Yeah, like and ninety five, "Rich Spirit," and ninety five. Yeah, there's a okay. there's at least four or five records like that, and that's every album. No album. Have you right. listened to an <clears throat> album top to bottom repeatedly? No. I know you have. Unless it's a classic, like, Give It or Die Trying, you can go listen no, to it. of course. It. You know, you, you, the, nobody has an album like that where it's consistently repeating it, everybody's bumping every single track. So I don't, I don't, I don't understand that, that whole point of all, oh, but it's not I guess we'll see then, yeah. No, there's going to be tracks on it that are going to consistently bump. Yeah, but it's like, let's say you're bowling, and you, you, you know how they play music? Yeah. What song will they play? A lot, bro. Bowling? There's a lot on here. Which one? N95 is one of them. Perfect example. You can play the other one with the girl, the the, the okay. smooth okay. record. N95, but maybe maybe that one. No, there's but like... It's, it's like you're, you're driving a car. Rich Spirit. Just, I bump, just, bro. I've been bumping. Rich Spirit has been amazing. Smooth as fuck. I love the record. To me, it's just it's turn not, off the Wi-Fi. It's not about just boom, boom, boom. Like No, no. I'm not saying like that. Yeah. But it's just like... Take off the fufu, take off the cloud chase, take off the, come on, man, that's a fire. Yeah. You know? And he's he's right about these bars, too. If you take off all this shit these people have, yeah, this designer shit, the car, yeah. all this bullshit that people yeah. use to hide their insecurities, this designer bullshit, all this stuff, mm-hmm. most people spiritually, their souls, they're ugly individuals. That's just how it is. It just, these people, they, they, they use these things to make themselves look like they're amazing. Right. But if you take all this stuff away it's from fake, them, who yeah. they are as a person is what you need to question. Are they good people? You know, people, because we look up to these people with these designer bags and all this shit. Um, yes. Take off the fake, deep, take off the fake woke, take off the I'm broke. I can't <laughs> take off the gossip, take off the new logic that I'm rich, I'm rare. Yeah, so. Yeah, take off all that shit. Take all that designer bullshit off and what do you have? Ugh, you're ugly as fuck. <laughs> so, damn, he dissed everybody. Um, continue on with more of these tracks. There's so much to break down on here. Uh, let me see what, what I would, have to what find. What would you right. rate the album? Uh, I gave it an eight out of ten. Yeah, that's what I was saying. I gave it an eight. I personally, for me, I think I, I'm actually wow. going over these albums. To me, it's starting to become his best album. To me, because you guys, here's the thing: you guys got to actually listen to the album, go over, over, and that's over. That's what I'm saying. You can't listen to it once. You know. So I, I was like, I got to listen to this a couple of times because sometimes I listen to the album, I'm like, oh, this shit trash. Then I go back to it, listen again, I'm like, wait a minute. Yeah. What the fuck did I just say? Um, you know, let me see what the, I'm trying to find that. We'll more. probably come back and talk about this album again later on. See what, what, what we still think about it. Let me see. I think it's, it's, uh, might be Savior. I love Savior too. Savior is a good record. Oh, oh bitch. Are you happy for me? Yeah. <laughs> really? Yeah. Are you happy? That's, that's a dope ass record. Um, he talks about the COVID thing, vaccine, Kyrie. Kyrie reacted to it. I like how he said that. Yeah, he was like, I wasn't sure. He said, bite my bite their tongues and rap lyrics, scared to be crucified about a song. That's the one thing about this album theme, too. He doesn't care. He doesn't care to be politically correct. He's speaking his mind. He doesn't care what people like, dislike. Right. He even said the F word uh, on the auntie song. Uh, he doesn't give a shit. And it wasn't like in a bad way, but he just right. talking about it. Uh, he said, bite their tongues and these rap lyrics, scared to be crucified about a song, but they won't admit it. Politically correct is how you keep an opinion. Guys is tight-lipped, fuck who dare to be different. Seen a Christian say the vaccine is the mark of the beast. Then he caught COVID and prayed to Pfizer for relief. That's happened a lot of times. Yes. People are in the hospital. They're thinking the vaccine is going to save them from dying. They end up dying. Uh, it's happened quite a few times. Mm-hmm. Um, Got a question. He caught Kyrie. COVID, yeah, and prayed Pfizer for relief. Then I caught COVID, Kendrick says. Mm-hmm. And started to question Kyrie, because Kyrie's against the vaccine. Yeah. Kyrie Irving, by the way, the basketball player. Will I stay organic or hurt in this bed for two weeks? So, that's where he stopped. He's like, do you want peace? They watch us in the street. I wonder if he took it. I don't know. Um, he but probably was like Kyrie. 
Um, there it is. So on this on this track, he talks about the the politicians. politicians. So the third verse starts out saying, "The cat is out the bag. I am not your savior. I find it difficult. I find it just as difficult to love thy neighbors, especially when people got ambiguous favors, but their hearts not in it. See, everything's for the paper. The struggle for the right side of history. Independent thought is like an eternal enemy. Capitalists posing as compassionates be a enemy. There you go. Capitalists posing as compassionates meaning." A lot of these people that are rich say that they're doing good for the world, but they're really just doing it for their own benefit. He said, yeah, suck my dick with authenticity, which is a dope response. <laughs> He's like, yeah, Tupac dead, got to think for yourself. Yeah, heroes looking for villains, for villains to help, which is, I've never been sophisticated, saving face, being manipulative, such a required taste. He says, I rubbed elbows with people that was for the people. They say they were. They all greedy. Then he says, I don't care for no public speaking, and they act and they like to wonder where I've been, protecting my soul in the valley of silence. And he was, he was like, I protecting was, my soul in the valley of silence. That is fire. For 1,865 days? Yeah, something like I started, yeah, the, yeah, the song I like started when out he said that. I was like, I really actually Googled the hunters. Yeah, I did that it live. It was five years. It was yeah. a little over five years. Yeah. Um, I was like, damn, that's crazy. So, yeah, that's why he says I don't care for public speaking because a lot of these people are just fucking false and blah, blah, blah. So that is a long time in five years. Yeah. He had, he explained on the album why he had two years writer's block. Yeah. Which is a lot of artists sometimes have Mm -hmm. that writer's block. Eminem had it with the, uh, the relapse situation. Yeah. Trying to come around and come back. He had writer's block. Couldn't, when you have writer's block, it applies to anybody who's a creative person. Mm -hmm. Usually you get stuck in a block and whatever you, that's what I happened last year to me. Just the shit that I was creating was just, I didn't like it. I literally scrapped the whole DMX video part one because I didn't like it. So you get into this mode sometimes when you're working, you get into a writer's block where you just don't like what you're doing at all, no matter what you do, even though you think it's good or people other think people think it's good, you just end up not liking it. And that's probably what, or you just can't write at all or be creative at all. It just stops. Some people can be creative, but they don't like what they do. And that's another writer's block. And there's right. some people that, that can not even be creative. They're just stuck. So that's what he said. Two years of that was that, which is a long time. That is a lot, yeah. And then three years was therapy, dealing with himself. Mm-hmm. So that's five years of time. I don't think he's going to take another five years, though. I think it's going to be like a year or two. He's going to drop another album. I think album. so. Why you say that? It's just... It's too long of a way. I don't think fans are, are willing... Are appreciating it, yeah. Are willing... I don't know. Maybe they are. I Five years, again... No, that's be, too much, man. I yeah. think that's a little bit too much. But it's good to wait because you see how the album... Oh, the production is a the, whole different yeah. level. I think he's, this production on this album has been the best. Because you have a lot to say. Say, yeah. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, man. So. Because within one year, it's like, yeah, you could drop an album every year, but it's like, unless you just constantly got shit going on, which a lot of these artists do, but. So on Auntie Diaries, um, this is a track where he talks about um, his aunt being a man. Um, let me see. Code A. Where is the I can't Mr. Moral? No, I'm talking about uh, Auntie's Diaries. Really? Yeah, this is uh this. So yeah, he's talking about his aunt transforming to the man. Um, the verse two, he said, "My aunt is a man now. I think I'm old enough to understand now." Drinking Paul Mason with her hat turns backwards back when it was comedic relief to say the f word which is faggot uh we ain't know no better elementary elementary kids with no filter however my auntie became a man and i took pride in it she wasn't gay she ate pussy and that was the difference that's why i told my friends in second grade she picking up she picking me up from school they stare at her, stare at her in the face they couldn't comprehend what i grew accustomed to so as a kid dealing with that that's that's different that definitely affects you mentally some way um, so yeah he's so a lot of this, like I said, this this a lot of this album is just therapy that he was going through and the things that he was experiencing and explaining it to us as to why he took all this time off to understand. Not only cheating on his wife, but admitting to all these other problems, family issues. Um, yeah. But it's, it's good, though. We, now we know why it took five years. You know, yeah, he's he explained it good. He's telling he explained us. it yeah. really good. Exactly. So part, this too, what, what tracks do you like? There's nine tracks on there. It starts out, uh, Count Me Out. Till mirror, uh, saviors, Silent Hill. Uh, do them in order, cause oh my, yeah, that's that's what I'm trying to look. Count me out. I love count me out. 
I think that one's pretty good too. Crown, I like Crown. Uh, Silent. Okay, Count Me Out. Crown. Silent Hill. Savior. And I, I don't remember the other ones. I forgot. Yeah. So out of nine uh, tracks, I like Count Me Out, Crown, Silent Hill, mm-hmm. Savior, Mr. Morale, and Mother I Sober. So that's okay. one, yeah, could, two, three, four, five, six. So six the same as the first. Six out of nine. So there's yeah. only six that we don't dislike. That's good. There's only six tracks here that I dis. Actually, yeah. Is that right? Yeah. Because you said six out of nine. Six, six out of nine. Yeah. Six so it's three. Okay. Yeah. So there's nine, six nine. tracks that I don't like. So out of that, that means out of 18 tracks, there's 12 that I like out of 18. So that makes sense to give it eight. You're roughly an eight. Yeah. yeah. Uh, maybe. I mean, these other tracks could grow on me, but I've, right now, that's what I'm staying at. 